At the press conference in Kinshasa on Tuesday, December 26, a dozen representatives of civil society organizations and other presidential candidates were calling for the annulment of the elections. During the voting on December 20th and 21st, they pointed to serious irregularities. The same Tuesday, the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo announced a ban on demonstrations planned by the opposition for this Wednesday to protest against the irregularities that they claim marred the elections. Speaking to the press, Interior Minister Peter Kazadi said, Wednesday's demonstration is an attempt to undermine the electoral process which is unacceptable to the government of the Republic. On Saturday, five opposition presidential candidates describing the election as a sham informed the Democratic Republic of Congo's governor of their intention to organize a march on Wednesday on a letter made public. The list of opponents contesting the result of the December 20th and 21st elections headed by Martin Fayulu, the unsuccessful candidate in the 2018 elections. For his part, the former governor of the Katanga region, Moise Katumbi, is calling for the elections to be annulled. At the press conference, representatives of a dozen civil society organizations and other presidential candidates echoed this call and demanded the cancellation of the elections. In their joint press release, the signatories also denounced a simulation of an election. In particular, they argued that the extension of the vote over several days was designed to encourage widespread fraud. 